Broadcasting from the front lines of the Info War. How you doing, Patriots? It's 12 o'clock. And here's a message for those in the occupied territory. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. Time for a party on the beach, boys. Ill Will Omar has recently said that Muslims should cause hell on earth here in America. This from an immigrant who ought to be fucking thankful she's even here in the first place. You want to start hell with us, patriots? No problem. You want a war? We'll give you a war you won't fucking forget. Or live through. The last war in the United States was the Civil War. And if it has to be done again, we will do it. It will be an ethnic purge. No shit. So if you want to bring it on, bring it on. We've had the last 25 years to organize, train, and equip a vast patriot army all over the United States. You will never dominate us. Never. And just because you're a little media star right fucking now in Congress, blah, 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 everybody's laughing and twittering at your stupid comments. It ain't going to be so funny when people are targeting you, man. I'm talking full auto rifles. If the shooting starts, you're going to be the first one to go. You and your big mouth occasional cotex. That's right. If the shooting starts, if you whip up the population so much that Muslims start attacking us, it's on, man. It's on. There are militia units all over the United States. We're locked and loaded. We're not going to take no shit, man. We're not going to take no prisoners either. Just like in the Civil War, Quantrell boys, border raids, Kansas and Missouri. There ain't going to be no prisoners. It's called the Black Flag. Quantrell rode under the Black Flag. Take no prisoners, but take their shit. If the shooting starts, you're going to die. We're going to take your stuff. That's all there is to it. You will never see such ferocity again if you start it. We're going to be ferocious, man. Totally fucking ruthless. Are you ready for that, ill will Omar? Oh, sure you are. You saw it in fucking Somalia. Black hat down. And then you brought all them fucking warriors over here. Yeah, I talked to a lot of them in St. Cloud, Minnesota. They had bullet holes all over the place, man. They were wounded. They're the ones who took down Black Hawk helicopters here in Mogadishu, right? And now they're over here, plotting and planning to take over us. I don't think so. So I'm going to play outlaw tunes on outlaw pipes as long as I possibly can. How about you, man? My family's name, Walsh, is a descendant of William Wallace from Scotland. So, I would suggest we gather the tribes. From now until Easter, gather the tribes. Get your stuff together, say your prayers, prepare yourself. If you have to do a funeral service for yourself, you're already a dead man, you might as well go for broke. That's my... Advice. Ill will Omar and your fucking communist agitators. You start shit. We're going to finish it, man. We're going to fucking finish it, man. No kidding. And the first one to go, ill will Omar, is you. If the shooting starts, somebody's going to track you down and blow your fucking head off, man. No kidding. If 
the shooting starts. You push us too much, and your fucking minions come after us, start shooting up malls, blowing shit up. Yeah, you're the fucking first one to go. I will personally cut your head off and put it on a stick in my front yard. How you like that? And I'm going to load all my guns with hollow point bullets dipped in bacon grease. I'll give you every opportunity to meet your 70 Virginians. Starting with Thomas Jefferson. If you start a war. A civil war. Civil unrest. A Black Lives Matters protest doesn't matter. Mm -mm. That don't count. That's just a bunch of spoiled brats blocking the street. If they started shooting, them fuckers would scatter like rats. Yeah, we're pissed. We hear all this rhetoric. We have an invasion on our border. And you have the nerve, ill will, Omar, to sit there in Congress and say, start shit. Okay, well, I can do the same fucking thing, man. That's right. But I'm not real nice. I carry a hatchet, a machete, a forty-five, and an AR-14. And I'm a damn good shot. And so are a lot of our other boys, man. As soon as the as Iraq and Afghanistan bets figure out what's going on, you got a fucking problem, man. A big fucking problem. We will track you down. If the shooting starts. Am I making myself clear? I'm not kidding. I got an itchy trigger finger and I have a problem controlling it. So if the shooting starts, Ilmar, Warmar, whatever the fuck your name is, go back to Somalia. You want to see a civil war? Go back over there, man. And take all your friends with you from St. Cloud, Minnesota. That's right. There's supposed to be jihad training camps all over, all, all over the United States. Well, we know where they are, man. Yeah, we've been watching and tracking these guys for a long time. You think you're just going to waltz in, take over our cities? I don't think so. You might be able to come off with a few uh, bombs here and there. But in the long run, we will fucking rule the day. No kidding. Eddie Eldorado somewhere in Eldorado County for the Hangtown News Network. I'm done playing games, man. You motherfuckers start it, we're going to fucking finish it. You will go to fucking Allah in pieces. Wearing bacon grease in your bullet wounds. No kidding. Kiss my ass.